Hi, Ade. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad, Patrick. It's nice to be here. Good. Thank you so much for, for making the time. Um, do you maybe want to start with a quick introduction to yourself, a bit about you and kind of what you do were doing before Jibulium? So basically, I've been living in Glasgow and before I was previously working at call centres, also a bit of work with admissions for apprenticeships and things like that. Found Bullion through going to some meetups in Glasgow and just decided that the course was a good fit. So I was like, this is something that I enjoy doing. Let me give it a go. And uh, I just went for it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And here we are at the end of your six months of training with us. Um, how did the how did the learning go? How what was your kind of what were the highlights? What were the challenges of the course? I would say that it's definitely amazing to see how much you can actually learn in such a short amount of time. Um, I think I kind of amazed myself. Also, it was really enjoyable to see that you don't need to try and learn difficult things by yourself, but actually the idea of coming together with other people, struggling together, actually moves you forward a lot quicker. So those were the amazing parts. Um, the difficult bit was probably just the sheer amount of time that it took. Uh, it was difficult. I had to kind of discipline myself heavily and um, that, was, that was tricky and at times, sometimes upsetting <laughs> as well. Uh, but in the end, it was definitely worth it um, and a great experience, yeah. Awesome, awesome. One thing about our course, of course, is that it's fully remote so it happens uh, fully online how did you find that in, and especially with kind of the sense of community and that kind of thing yeah so I think it was quite easy to sort of spend time with people um, given the situation across the country anyway uh, it was kind of the only way to, to deal with things at the time and to be fair I think that I built very very good relationship relationships with a lot of the people on my course and with the teachers and everything so all in all um, no problem at all kind of doing everything all remote and also means that I got this opportunity because everybody else is in so many different places so there would not really be some sort of way for us to all come together otherwise so yeah I think it was fantastic. Awesome awesome and we're at the we're at the end of the course now uh, you've started the job search a couple of weeks ago uh, do you want to talk us through a little bit about how that's going how you're finding it how the applications etc. So yeah, the job search is interesting. There are actually a lot of opportunities, which I think is great. Although as well, that's because I'm more open to being able to take different opportunities and go in a different path. At the same time, it's very difficult because you're not entirely sure what each business is looking for. You're not sure who's looking at maybe your CV or the applications that you're making and things like that. But I'm starting to get some responses. Uh, I'm feeling confident in kind of my skills and everything. And generally, I'm just really looking forward to, to getting that first role and, and put my first foot on the ladder. Absolutely, yeah, that's that's what we're here for. And we're, we're really excited to see that happen too. Um, on that, uh, we, we try and support our grad a little bit as well with the career services um, how are you finding that support are you feeling like you're getting you're getting the support you need yeah I think it's really good obviously we chat sort of every week uh, as well I've always got this ability to message anybody that I need to if I've got any questions uh, Ed has been really helping us with more ongoing support with the sort of technical things that we need to know to impress employers so all in all I think again just great job and yeah I'm, I'm just going to keep going, keep doing the same things and I'm sure in a short amount of time uh, we will definitely find um, the way forward and hopefully a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And with that in mind, have you thought about what kind of job you might want to you might want to do? So all in all, I do think that um, fintech is something that I'm really interested in, but I, I am really open to a lot of things. My main thing is that I still want to be able to work across sort of everything from sort of databases to back end to the front end and to see how it's all done, have some input and really work on putting everything together because I love that that full process so yeah for as much as a full stack developer is actually a thing yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 sometimes it says full stack developer but you're never quite sure until you get there right um, I guess to kind of close out I'm, I'm kind of interested to hear looking back on your boolean experience you know uh, how would you rate it and you know is, is this something that you'd you'd recommend to your friends I mean, not for the faint-hearted, definitely not, but if you're ready to put in the, the hard hours and you really are looking to make a change in direction in terms of your career, yeah, I think it's a great, it's a great decision, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Ade, thank you so much for making the time to chat. Uh, as you said, we're really excited to see you get the first steps on that career ladder and, and see you blossom as a software developer. Thanks again. Yeah, cheers.